guys, what is up? It is me, Sci-Fi Kid here, with another video. And today I'll be showcasing the LEGO World Sandbox slash Creative Mode. So let's get right into it. Let's go. Teaching pigs how to fly. Yeah, so I just got LEGO Worlds on Friday and I had to do this because it's LEGO's answer to Minecraft and like everybody likes Minecraft, so. See how it matches up. So this is like the Minecraft splash screen. They have all those weird things. Right. Cool. Everything's made out of Lego. And there's a random vehicle. Wow. All right, so. Let's see. All right, so we have a lot of options here. Discovery tool, or oh, inventory. Paint tool, build tool, copy tool, landscape tool, free build. My favorite is the landscape tool. So we'll show this one first. So as you can see, we can do that. And it creates a big block. But really the main thing you'll use with this, and you can also like do this. Build it to ground up higher. But the best thing about this is flatten. So if we just. So if you're going, oh, I really need to build this giant house, but there's this huge mountain, what am I going to do? I know, I'll use this. Here we have it, completely flat, ready for all of your needs. I've got to admit, the build tool isn't that good because look what you have to do. Block by block by block by block by block. So it would be a lot easier if you use the discovery tool. All right, this is a super cool thing. You can spawn so much stuff. Okay, let's start with characters. Construction worker. You can spawn him in. Animals. You can spawn them in. You can even ride them. Very nice. Alright. Vehicles. Now, these are the best. There are so many cool vehicles, but I need to show you the coolest of them all. Or one of the coolest. Cole's Earth Driller. This is so good. Right, so. Normal car. Drive around in it. Look at us, it can do. Turn on the drill. Push the directional stick down. And drive forward. Whoa. How awesome is that? this one the only bad thing is you're not invincible that's the only downside to this so yeah you can actually come out and, like actually mine 
how awesome is that? If you just want to like build a bat cave or something, you just use this. That's pretty cool. Ow. Ouch. Alright, let's have a look at some more vehicles. Ooh, cannon turret. We can't go forward. But we can shoot. Oh, that's so cool! You can do it with this as well. No, but one of the coolest things... Is if we grab... Like that. Now, this was exclusive to the PS4, but now I think it's been released for all other forms. And it's not as good as the Earth Driller, but you can... Like... Spam... B toss. So that's pretty cool. And of course, you say, I hate this being here. I'll just use landscape tool. That's pretty good. Next one is objects. That's pretty self-explanatory. There are some cool like animations. And then you go up to it and press circle, look. He actually gets inside the toilet. There are all these animations with the different objects. But, yeah. And, of course, the best one, I've just been waiting to get to this. These are the brick builds. All the pre-created builds for you to just put in. Now, how cool is that? And, of course, there is marketing at its finest in the form of TT games which is absolutely gigantic and but the coolest thing about this is if we grab a cottage so you see this is over the edge right the um this wall is over the edge right so how could it do that well look it's so intuitive look it builds up a whole nother area based on the biome you're in and then builds it on top of that. That's so cool. But there is this weird glitch which I've been wondering about where it just keeps making the brick noise for some reason. And of course there are zombies. Am I even killing her? Yeah. And there are some really cool builds among these. Like one of my favorites is if I can find it. Yeah. Build it up, build it up, yep. Yeah. It's the Sphinx. And this brings me to the next one, the paint. So if you want to go, lol, I want to make the Sphinx blue. Grow it. Make it big. And then you just spam the button. And look what's happening. Sphinx is actually getting painted blue. How funny is that? It's now a blue Sphinx. And I think that you can actually correct me if I'm wrong. But there was um 
could actually paint it lava, the guy said when he was explaining it. Yeah, lava. And now, you can actually die just because you painted it lava. So how cool would that be? So if I just flatten my blue spins and I build my corner deli. Let's just say I want to build my corner deli. Okay. Yep, this just sometimes happens. It's perfectly normal. And all you have to do to get out is... Just grab yourself one of these drills. And that just exploded. All right. Great. Yep. This happens sometimes. And then you just come out and it's conveniently located. So, which I think I just created that. So. Yeah, so this is the best if you're playing online multiplayer or just split screen and then you go, lol, this is going to be so funny. And then, yes. There we go. And if I come around the door which is here. <laughs> oh lol. Like hot. Yeah, but like how good is that? That's the best feature about this. And of course this is the best. So if you say, hey, I really like this. This is so cool, my lava covered belly. I want to save this for later so I can just redo it. How cool will that be? Yep. Cool, you press save. Okay. And you press this lava. Accept. And now, if I am right, grab your discovery tool, go over to brick builds, go down to the very bottom. And you'll actually build your lava house. How cool is that? Oh, ooh, wait, did I just hear? Yeah. Oh yeah, you can actually still open the door even though it's covered with lava. Hot, hot. Doors open. Help. Kill me. But you, there's like no studs in adventure. Um, Sandbox mode. So yeah, if we want to make, I don't know, a, oh yeah, there's this really cool one, yeah. if we want to make a pyramid. Build it. And of course it's doing that awesome thing. And then if you're going, wait a minute, how do I actually get into my pyramid? It is so easy. Because it is hollow, let's be sure. Grab this. And 
now what we have to do is get our landscaping tool, shrink it down a lot, move it over to about here, hold that down, and look, we have a opening. That's pretty cool. Then you can just use the probably the one good thing the build tool is good for. That is making a door. Oh, I wonder if this will work. Let's see. And now we actually have a bank vault door on our pyramid. And now this can be our secret base. So yeah, one of the coolest things about this is you can actually put base inside of base. So just grab like a small one. Like field lab might fit. We just build that field lab. And then you can have a field lab inside pyramid. Pretty cool. So yeah guys, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.